The only way you're going to get to where God would have you to go is to have control because God has given you the freedom of choice and he ain't going to make you do nothing. So number two, I need you to take the control back so you can get what God has for you. Now, here's the third thing. and We're going to get to the message that God told me to tell you. God told me to tell you to stop making plates for people who just trying to take it to go. Write that down. Listen to me very closely. My grandma taught me when I was young. My grandma had 14 kids who all had kids. You can eat as much food as you want at the house. But if I, I swear if one of y'all little jokers take something out this house, I, you get in the business in front of your mama. Don't take no food out of my house. You can eat as much as you want when you here, but do not pack a plate. And most of y'all running with people who when you fix food, they come to your house and take it to go play. They don't bring nothing. They're not trying to help you. All they in your life to do is take, 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 take. And you wonder why your life messed up because you were takers. You done made a whole spread and they just coming in. They can't even say, they don't have the decency to say hi and thank you. God told me to tell you, your life going to go to a whole nother level if you just get rid of folks from bringing in to-go containers. Yeah. Oh, hey, I wish they could catch me. I wish you could catch up to what I'm saying. You, you, you not, you not honoring your crowd. You not honoring your beginnings. Everything I needed to learn to do what I'm doing right now, everything I needed to do to become the number one motivational speaker in the world, I passed I pass all those guys that don't look nothing like me. I passed those dudes, all of them who grew up in a two-parent background, all of them who had money. I passed all of them. Why? Because of what I learned in the GD program. See, mama can't, mama can't. There's certain things when you privilege that mama can buy you, but you can't buy grit, and you can't buy grind, and you can't buy resilience, and you can't buy heart, and you can't buy that dog. I got this dog for being homeless. I got this dog for being homeless. I got this dog from teaching kids who was in the hood how to understand math when they didn't. I taught them boys how to read and I had to do it over and over and go home and do it over and over and over and over. And I did it for three or four years and I ain't make no money. So when I'm getting paid now, I got that dog. I'm getting paid now because the homelessness didn't break me. The trash cans didn't break me. And the reason why people love me today is not because I'm a great speaker, but they all say how humble I am. I ain't humble. I was broken. I ain't humble. I got broke. You can't be arrogant when you know you used to go to church stanking because you was homeless. And you weren't brushing your teeth. I got humble. I got humble, man. You ain't got a trash can. I got humble. I'm trying to tell you, God gave you a gift. So what you gotta use it in church for right now? So what you gotta do it for free right now? It ain't always gonna be free, Joseph. It ain't always gonna be free, Joseph. Your brothers ain't, you ain't gonna always be under your brothers, Joseph. One day they're gonna bow down to you, Joseph. So you gotta start in Potiphar's house. You gotta start in the prison. But one day, you're going to listen to me very closely. One day, you will do the exact same thing. You just will do it on a bigger level. Go back and read the Bible. Joseph didn't do anything different than the Potiphar's house. He didn't do anything different in prison. He did the exact same work. But because he used what God gave him. So do me a favor. Some of y'all in this room... You left daddy and you need to come back home. Listen to me. The reason why I'm telling you to come home is because you left daddy and you ain't no better off when you, that you left. Ain't nothing happening in your life that's going, that should keep you from coming back to the home. Other than somebody being real with you and telling you to get your butt back home. So there's a group that you were church. You were. 
and you left God because you wasn't feeling you wasn't feeling the trainer. <laughs> you wasn't feeling the trainer. You weren't feeling the, the regimen he put you through. You weren't feeling the process. You weren't feeling how he did it. But let's be real. How he did it works. It works. The stuff I hear at 3 o'clock and what daddy tell me to do, sometimes it don't make sense. But it does not have to make sense. He's Alpha and Omega. And I tell my babies all the time, it ain't nothing wrong with helping, but you can't help when you ain't got nothing. You got to have something first before you can help somebody. I couldn't do this if I was broke. The plane tickets cost money. The hotel I'm staying at in Buckhead costs money. I couldn't do this if I was broke. I couldn't be a blessing of you if I was broke. And most of y'all, you broke and you trying to bless somebody when you broke. You ain't that desperate for company. <laughs> you can't be that desperate to have somebody at your house. And he keep eating at your house but going to stay at her house. I'm just trying to help somebody. He coming to get a plate for... He coming to get a plate from your house, but he's sleeping at her house. She coming to get a plate from your house, but she's sleeping at his house. Ain't nothing wrong with getting a plate, boo, but you won't have to, you, you won't have to stay. <laughs> you won't have to at least stay. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make, I'm trying to put it in your, so you can understand. And so God is blessing you, but the little resources you got, you're giving them away. And so what you're going to have to learn how to do is you're going to have to learn to bring people in your life where it's mutual. you got a bunch of parasites in your life. And what parasites do is suck up everything and then they move on. Once they kill you, they move on to the next. They ain't even went to your... Listen to me. Most of you in this room, the people you call and friends and you close to, you're going to die. They ain't even going to show up to your funeral. They won't even be there. You, you, they ain't, you ain't as close as you thought y'all were. Go ahead and take ownership of your life. It's yours. Don't nobody else, don't nobody owe you nothing. I'm keeping it 100. Like, I don't mean nothing bad, but like, I don't, I'm, I'm doing this. Somebody tell me, where you at? I'm ministering. I can't answer your call right now. I don't talk to you for a month. Like, you got two types of friends. You got one group, you don't talk to them for a month because you grinding, and they like, oh, he grinding. You got the other group, oh, he ain't, why he ain't called me? <laughs> I'm like, what? You ain't called, you got what's going on with that? You, you, you a taker. At no point did you pray. Source is not your job. The source is not your man. The source is not your degree. The source. That's why I don't really do that Dr. Thomas stuff. I ain't trying to not be, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be big. I'm like, I just want to be careful because some of you Dr. Thomas, like, I ain't mad if that's what God told you to say, but I'm just not trying to take God's credit. Like, cause God been blessing me all this time. And I, some people say doctor, like he made it. No, I made it before. I made it when God said I made it. I made it alone. I made it with the GED. I had made it. I made it when I was homeless. I made it. Why? Cause God said, you are a son. You my child. You ain't got to do nothing else. You ain't you ain't got to get a degree. You ain't got to do nothing. You tell you my son because you my son. And I'm just going to bless you because the rain falls on the just as well as the unjust. You ain't got to do nothing for me to love you. You ain't got to do nothing for me to hook you up. You my daughter. You enough. You enough. That's why you done ran through four men. Because you don't know you enough without a man. You enough. If you never get married, you enough. If you never pass that law degree, you enough. If you never become a doctor, you enough. If you never get married, you enough. If you never have a child, you are enough like you are. And that's why God created you. You are enough. And God said, come on home so I can take care of you. You got these no good Negroes taking care of you. Let me take care of you. You worry about some job, they killing you, and you going to that job like you a slave. God said, let me take care of you. I gave you a gift. Your gift will make room for you. I gave you a gift. You ain't got to run up behind them. 
they going to run you in the grave. You ain't going to have no time with your family and your kids. Let me take care of you, baby. I created you. They did. Let me take care of you. What up? What up? What up? It's your boy, E.P. Minus assessment, 2.0. <laughs> Look, I, I love the assessment so much that it took me to a whole new level. Like, I'm telling y'all, y'all think I've always been here. I promise you, there was a time I was lost. I'm just being real. There was a time that I was just shooting. I didn't know what to aim for. Like, I didn't know. And so I wasn't making the money I'm making now. I didn't know y'all had a gift. But I didn't really know what the gift was. I didn't know how to use it. I remember struggles in my marriage because I didn't know who I was. Struggling with my kid. So the flight assessment was phenomenal because it changed my life. It gave me a sense of clarity that I never had before. Like, it showed me my value. And it showed me, like, how to market my value, how to understand my value, how to sell my value, like how to put a price tag on what I was worth. I didn't know before. I was watching other videos, watching other people, mimicking other people, trying to do what other people were doing. It didn't work, y'all. And then boom, this assessment showed me me. Now, I'm going to be honest. While I love the assessment, I, like, bro, it was on some PhD stuff. Like, it was like an advanced degree. So I took the flight assessment 2.0 and simplified it for you. Flight assessment now is a, a pilot, a, a, a flight assessment, a ground crew, air traffic control. Like, I simplified it with symbols and words that you can understand so that you can immediately take it and boom, and do something with it. You're going to be able to use it immediately. You're going to figure out who you are, why you tick, what you do, and then you're going to be able to boom, Take who you are and what you do and put it in the marketplace and make money. Listen to me very closely. Not only are you going to figure out who you are, you're going to figure out who everybody around you is. And guess what? You're going to slow life down. You're going to slow the game down. And you're going to be able to do and be and have stuff you've never had before. So do me a favor. Listen to me. In 15 minutes, your whole life is going to change. Like, I look, I revamped the whole thing. I made the investment. I, I studied this thing for five, six years. I studied you. I got it, y'all. I got it. It's going to take 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, you're going to know you like you've never known you before. You're going to have resources. You're going to have the people that's going to be able to help you. You're going to be able to go, be, do, have everything you've ever dreamed of. You're going to speak with clarity. You're going to move with clarity. You're going to think with clarity. You're going to write with clarity. And that clarity is going to open up doors that you never imagined that could be open. Are you hearing me? So I went from a YouTube sensation to the number one motivational speaker in the world. So I want you to do me a favor. Act right now. Don't think. Don't overthink. Right? Make the investment. Don't spend the money. Make the investment. You're going to get your money back. Click the button. Register. Sign up. And do me a favor, bro. I promise you, when you do, after that 15 minutes, you are about to make the rest of your life the best of your life. It's your boy, E.T. The flight assessment has revolutionized my life and my family's life and my family's coming life. Let it revolutionize you and your family. Welcome to my channel Fresh Personal Growth Motivation. Today I speak Control 2024 is to have because God is giving you, make you do not nothing. So number two I need you to take so you can now hear we are message that God told me to tell you to stop making for people who just to go write that and write that down and write that but do not pitch with people hairs and go play go play the control that have not and i wish they can catch me i wish you can catch up to what i am you you not honoring you are not honoring that and everything i needed to do what i am everything I needed to become the number one 
and I in the world I will pass like me don't look nothing I pass those dude all of them grew up and money yeah them why all of them GD program and the hopes are not you but that